After a lot of discussions and deliberations, the national capital has finally gone ahead with its first large-scale experiment on artificial rain to control air pollution in the national capital, which remains one of the most polluted cities in the world. Remember, artificial rain is a science experiment which has been successfully conducted in several countries like the United States of America, United Arab Emirates, but to induce more rainfall in regions which do not get enough rainfall. It has also been conducted in uh, several parts of India like Bundelkhand and UP, parts of Karnataka and Maharashtra as well, the regions which do not get enough monsoon rainfall. But to uh, conduct artificial rain to control air pollution, well, that is something that has not been really tested and there's no proof of concept as well. So IIT Kanpur backed this government project, which cost about rupees 3.21 crore. Now, as part of this project, what we saw yesterday was that the Cessna aircraft from uh, of IIT Kanpur, it flew over certain airmarked regions in the national capital, mostly the northwestern parts. There were two sorties and each of them uh, injected about two, uh, each of them injected about eight flares so what happens is when these aircraft flow over certain regions now these flares which have about two kgs of this chemical mostly silver iodide and sodium chloride it acts as a stimulant to boost uh, you know uh, to boost the uh, clouds capability to induce more rainfall but that requires the clouds to have certain amount of moisture scientists tell us that it should be about 50 percent so what happened yesterday, it flew over certain earmarked areas in the national capital, Khekra, Burari, even parts of Mayur Vihar and North uh, Karol Bag as well. We reported from the ground and we saw the results. The clouds mostly dispersed after the artificial uh, rain experiment was conducted. There were two sorties and each of them lasted about one and a half hours. And following that, uh, what we saw was there was negligible impact in terms of rainfall. Uh, the rainfall was about 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 mm, which is almost negligible in trace amounts. Now, scientists tell us that it's not really essential that every time an experiment is performed on artificial rain, it will induce rainfall. And that is what they wanted to study, what really happens in real life uh, conditions in the national capital but the question arises that whether it is a solution that should be considered to control air pollution levels in the national capital now we spoke to a lot of environmentalists and they remain very skeptical about this idea considering the amount of investment in in uh, proposing a solution like this they say that the action should actually be on controlling the source based emissions now we know where the emissions are coming from it is the vehicles it is the industries it is of course the biomass burning so until we control the amount of pollution coming Coming from these sources, it's very difficult for experiments like artificial rain to bring down the air pollution in the national capitals. Another point of concern is that the, if in, in case the rainfall is not induced and it's in a very small amount, that will end up putting more moisture in the air, which can actually uh, act, uh, you know, promote condensation also of the PM 2.5 and PM 10 pollutants, which will, which will lead to more pollution levels in the national capital. So it remains on an experimental basis also because it's a very expensive exercise. Now we spoke to scientists from IIT Kanpur and they told us that it requires approvals from at least 10 state and central agencies to carry out each sortie and that is why this experiment which was initially expected to be conducted in June got delayed to the post monsoon months and now it has been conducted this October. It is also highly dependent on so many weather factors, the cloud formation, the uh, temperature conditions, the wind factor and there has to be a certain amount of moisture in the clouds for artificial rain to be actually conducted. Now this has Happened because the India Meteorological Department had predicted that a western disturbance is approaching uh, the northwestern region of India and that is when the, the scientists decided that okay this may be the right time to perform this experiment so uh, that is what the environmentalists have been highlighting all along that we should actually target our actions on areas where we know we will get certain results than performing science experiments which may or may not work. fighting so long and so hard that they don't know what the f they're doing.